lovely awning. Silver jewelry, blanket store, leather turquoise. All the good stuff it looks like. That'd be a cool picture. Pull the 55 up. Oh, Ben and Ford Courage. It could be yours.
sign back there, Interstate 40, quarter mile. It's like, yeah, this is what the travelers had to go through. Go not even this fast. Oh, and look! Pavement! I got off the dirt section onto the highway and then I pulled off and I, I see that it's different color um, and I got a spongy brake pedal so I don't know what it is it's all clean and dry in here all the lines are okay um, so yeah I don't know exactly what's up I'm letting it uh, I'm gonna let it cool down right now yeah we're at the stop and go abandoned gas station so yeah i'm gonna let it cool down and then uh will would mike told me to see if there's any friction there and then uh, i'm gonna limp it into holbrook hopefully and i got spare pads thank goodness and hopefully we'll just change them out he thinks i'm hard on my my uh, my, my brake pads and i usually wear them out once a year in scottsdale i usually wear them out so i'm due we'll see fingers crossed And stuff, it's a shame. All right. That's it. All right, so I'm here with Kevin, right? Yep. Kevin in, in Holbrook. Holbrook, yeah. And uh, it's not the, uh, not the brake, it's the, uh, oh, geez, it's the wheel bearing. That's not good. Not good, but it's still on, and uh, that's why we leave early, because uh, just in case. Wigwam Village number six. I got room number 14. No smoking, no vaping. It's a good thing. It smells like for breeze. This is awesome. Desk, heater AC, little chair. All right. Oh, let's check. All right, I found a I found a light switch. There's a light switch. So now it looks to be a yellow, which is, uh, which is lovely. And now you can see the tile. And it's tall enough that you don't have to scrunch over. There you go. All right. That's enough. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen a room too. This is my backpack. All my crap. Awesome. So these are once inside. Wigwam Village, number six. All right, just got the wheel off, what the hell? Oh, sorry.
You can take a look in the back side too. That's <laughs> nice, crazy. So it looks like the uh, that kept it on, which is good. So yeah, inner and outer bearings. Well, sorry, inner and outer bearings. The hub seals. It's uh, holy Moses. How does this happen? I guess from driving a whole bunch. That's what you get for driving. We got some carnage, new spindle, some threads, bearings, hub. Got Colin here. Gonna get this thing worked out and back out on the road. What are you gonna do? It's a driver. I drive it. It's always an adventure in the 55, right? Wigwam Motel. Right there, Holbrook, Arizona. Number 66. Right here. Got a little Safeway action. I think we're on the Safeway. And right here, look at this. Buckler Shop, Exhaust Specialist Garage. I think it was an old mobile station back in the day. By here a few times. I love this shot. Nothing here in the parking lot. mobile station here in Holbrook, Arizona. That's right. That's the name of the street. Bucket of Blood Street right next to the right on the historic train depot. We're here in Holbrook. Look at the stone you know, that's from a little while ago. All right, Bucket of Blood Street. Train Depot. We got the train tracks running east and west. And I'm looking for the Bucket of Blood Saloon. I'm not making this up. This may be it. So the Pioneer Saloon. How the Bucket of Blood Saloon got its name. All right, I took a picture of it. I love the history right here. Oh, wow, there's the... Uh, the mercantile sign.
And there we go. The Bucket of Blood Saloon. And even a cry for help. Help save the Bucket of Blood Saloon. ReserveArizona.org. Oh, look at the blocks crumbling, but it's amazing. I bet this thing's over 100 years old. So modern cinder blocks. Bucket of blood. The wall's being held up by big old metal posts. Oh, and what have we here? Like the house right next door. Yeah, they said, oh yeah. My guess is built from indigenous stone. Stop, don't take that first drink. There you have it. Lumber train depot. Santa Fe Rail. A little mercantile store or whatever that, you know, there was a store. Train tracks. Route 66 Beals Wagon Road. We are in Holbrook, and if you got people coming off the train tracks, you need a saloon, and why not the Bucket of Blood Saloon? There you go. Holbrook, Arizona. Look at the base. Look at that. Different colors. What is the story on this thing? Sun's going down over there. Little Colorado River right there. Holbrook, Arizona. And look at this stonework. I don't know anything about it, but we've got, there's the train depot I was just at, railroad tracks. So this is all, and look at that base. Look at the different colors. Looks like turquoise. I don't know. And here we go, some more of it. That's that's petrified wood. This is all wow. All right, I bet you that is turquoise petrified wood. Amazing. Is it with petrified wood? Come on. Oh, 
Holbrook, Arizona. Roxy in Holbrook, Arizona, the only working movie theater on Route 66. I'm Santa Wigwams tonight. We're waiting on some parts. Spindle from uh, Willwood, they're the best. Overnighting this stuff, and uh, we're gonna go see a movie in the only working movie theater on Route 66. The Roxy. All right, you see Historic Route 66. It says it right there. I'm not making this stuff up. And this is the lovely lady behind the glass who lets me in. Um, what is your name? Your, Sue. This is Sue. Can you tell me about this place? It's the only working movie theater on Route 66. I believe, yes, it is. How long have you been here? How long has the movie theater been here? Yes. I guess probably since 59-ish. Okay, in the, in the late 50, how, how long have you been here? Nine years. Nine years. Do you love it? Yeah, I do. Awesome. I don't have to work now, but I do. But you do. You're the best. Thanks so Thank, much. Thank you. Thank, all right. We're going to, uh, I paid my, I paid the price. I, I don't. Okay, take a look. Three hours and twenty minutes. All right, we're gonna go see a movie.